Hey, welcome back to Rock and Roll All Night. Uh, as everybody uh, knows, Ace Frehley's new album, Origins Volume 2, just dropped the other day. And uh, it's a really great album. Uh, there's a lot of uh, great songs on there, good tunes. Um, Ace does a heck of a job. Uh, Lita Forge, John Five. Um, it's just a, a, a great album. Robin Zander's on there. So uh, it's a great album. Uh, but there's one cool thing on this album. Um, that I noticed is that there, um, there's a cross-fading guitar solo that Ace and John Five do on the song Politician. And um, recently I interviewed Alex Salzman and um, we talked about that. And I also noticed that Ace talked about it in an interview on Access TV. So um, I want you guys to check this out. I think it's pretty cool. Um, and to hear how it was done, and then um, to listen to it. So what I've got here, I've got three clips. The first clip is Ace in his interview on Axis TV, where he talks about the crossfading guitar solos. And then it's my interview with Alex Salzman in the second clip, talking about the crossfading guitar solos, John Five. And then at the end is the actual guitar solo, so you can hear it. So uh, also I put some audio of the guitar solo in the background of the uh, of Ace talking and also when Alex is talking so you can hear it at the same time. So check this out. I think it's pretty cool. And if you haven't picked up the album yet, it's definitely worth, worth it. Um, go out and grab it. Check this out. And the other song John plays on is Politician by Cream. And we did a really long extended guitar solo and we're playing simultaneously. And if you listen to it with headphones, we're cross fading the solos. So it's like you know, I'm going across your brain if you, if you have headphones on. And uh, the solos came out great. Or in volume two, um, John Five plays on the song Politician. And there's uh, cross fading guitar solos between Ace and John. Um, who came up with that, and, and how is how is that done? Um, the story behind that is that John uh, played some really great solos on it, but Acer has already put down solos. So the way it was, you know, when John came to the studio, he said, "Just here, go record." And John's amazing. I mean, uh, between you and you and me, well, no, between everybody now. Those are like some of the stuff is first take. Wow, I'm first take. I mean, I may have done three takes with him, but I would I have enough in, in two. So a lot of that is first take. So he put down some solos. We already had Ace solos, and when it came down to you know the final uh, evaluation and edits before going to mix, we listened to both solos and they were both great. So we were like, well, do we you know do does John go five, eight bars, does Ace go eight bars and we switch? And I said, well, what if they both played? So we put them up and they were like, yeah, this is really cool. But it was kind of hard, obviously, to, to tell what is what, even if we had them pan hard left and right. So right. I believe it was, maybe it was my idea, maybe it was his. I don't, honestly, I don't remember. I said, well, let's try cross, cross fading and panning him. And we did, and it was wild. I and mean, you put headphones on, it's, it's right, like, exactly. wow, this is great. So, and we decided just leave it alone. So when it went to mix, we just, you know, I sent them the, the tracks that had panning on it, and it worked out. So it was just kind of
All right.